All right, little peaches. Since your parents have left me in charge as a babysitter, I thought I would tell you a bedtime story. Wait a minute. I'm here too. Yes, Diego, but only one of us has real experience as a parent. Sid, you were never a parent. Was too. Those weren't even your kids. They were dinosaur eggs. So? Their real mother almost chomped you. Anyways... Once upon a time, while your parents were waiting for the special day for you to be born... Actually, your mother and I and your Uncle Diego here were waiting. Your father was freaking out. Yes, yes he was. But he did have the idea to surprise Ellie with a great present in honor of your arrival. And good thing, too, because he was making Ellie nervous. You should never make a mama mammoth nervous. So he got me and your uncle's crash and Eddie to scout around and find the crystals he needed. But we'd have to do it all in secret. Yeah, but first they had to wake you up. That was the hard part. It's Sid. You think he's awake, Eddie? Awake means eyes open, Crash. Ah. Is that a sloth with four toes? Four toes! Ah, who? What? Four toes? Sid, glad you're up. We need some help. We need you to distract Ellie so we can sneak out. This is a top secret mission. Secret mission? Roger! I'm Eddie. Shh, come on, mammals. We're sneaking here. This is the perfect moment to distract Ellie. Keep Ellie talking so we can sneak by. Go on, Sid. Go talk to her. Sid, you're awake. Is it noon already? <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Uh, say, Ellie, does does the sun feel any warmer to you? Huh? Uh, not really. Why? Are uh, you sure? Cause you gotta really let it soak in. Sid, my eyes are stinging. Good, good. That means it's working. Psst, Sid, come on. More outstanding slothy service in the field of sneakiness. We salute you! Now to find a baby gift for Ellie. What? Wait a minute, that's the secret mission? Follow us and jump over that log! Hey, let's try over here. Sid, follow us. Guys, I'm a sloth. We're not known for our physical prowess. Yes, but you're a tree sloth. Ah, oh, then uh, make way for the expert. Does 
it hurt? Only, only when I breathe or talk or think. Ow! Ow! See? It's a gift in your baby's honor. Oh wow! It's beautiful. You guys know what goes best with crystals? Parmesan? Nope. More crystals. I saw some through that passage. Cross over the tree and explore away. Uh, are you sure this tree is solid? Walking on it's the best way to find out. Good luck! Easy does it! Try your hand at slamming! Over here, Sid! Us. Me? How? Pretend you're knocking down more bushes. Yeah, not angry rabbit beavers. Uh oh! <laughs> we'll be right behind you. Beaver. Wow, Sid! You are on fire! Yeah, but right now, we gotta get past that boulder! Oh wait, let me guess. You want me to move it with that stick? Sid! You are on fire! Okay guys, I'm on my way! Sid, follow us. What we need is some fire. the mushrooms to reach the fire careful don't bounce off the mushrooms
to smoke this slot. <laughs> Get back down here by sliding on that ice! Fire! Check! Cobweb, this way! Follow us! Echo! 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 I can do this. I'm almost sure of it. Today's your lucky day, boys. Have I got an offer for you, and you, and what an offer I got for you! Not now, Tony. We are on a mission. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, but you're gonna need supplies. I got your fruits, your gadgets, the whole shebang. <laughs> I've never even seen half a shebang. How do you even keep a whole shebang in this weather? Talk fast, fast Tony. Listen up and I'll tell you how you, yes, you can buy items anywhere in the world. Hey there! Welcome to the Trade Shack, Jack! That one's got your name on it! Take a gander at all the nifty items for trade! You want it? We now that is the meaning of upgrade. Do I see that you're trying to buy an You got the basics down already, huh? Fast Tony likes a quick learner. Sid, let's go! Collect them berries and trade them for anything in the shop. Sid, up there! The crystal! Halt! Who goes in? Uh, nobody important? Hey, speak for yourself! Oops! Well, whoever you are, you'll have to get past us first! Okay, Sid, you heard him! Yeah. Watch out, mole hogs! Here comes the spinster! <laughs> <laughs> Done yet. You think we're the only Mohawks around here? You have defeated the last of the Mohawks, but now your destiny lies to the north. Pass that boulder. Take this stick and. and. use it to clear the big rock. Uh, 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 uh,
sweet stick. Now use it to open up this icy passage. Take her eyes off that crystal. Assuming her eyes are open. Guys, let me get it. You sure about that? Oh, yeah. I got it. I got it. I... Ah! <laughs> Help! Should we do anything? Ah! He'll be fine. Hey, ho. Ow! <clears throat> wow. Another crystal. Hey, sis. Bet you weren't expecting that. Courtesy of Air Sloth. Thanks, guys. You're really taking her mind off her swollen ankles. I heard there's another crystal by the edge of the cliff. Wait, wait up, guys. Going kind of fast there. Oh yeah. Well. That is a long way down when you look at it. Sid, we found another crystal, but it's stuck up on a ledge. But that's no big deal, because it's being guarded by birds! Nerds? Bird, you nerd! <laughs> Time for some sloth action! <laughs> Crash, push on it! Come on, Crystal! If that even is your real name! Ha 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 ha! 
did! Uh oh! <laughs> Uh, we'll look after the crystal, and you look after those birds! Ever seen such a perfect crystal? You should feel good about yourself for getting. You know, I do feel good. I feel really. Brothers with love. You guys spoil me. Yeah, almost makes up for all the other junk they do. Okay, it does. Doesn't anybody want to spoil me? Well, little peaches, one of the ways your papa stayed out of your mama's way, I, or, I mean, kept himself busy <laughs> while he was waiting for you to be born, was to work on these little surprises. One of them was a playground for you. But there was too much to do, so he asked me, your Uncle Sid, for a little help. In retrospect, your Uncle Sid probably wasn't the best choice. Shh! Hey, Sid. Really appreciate you lending a paw here. 
You see, I built this awesome playground, but my kid's coming any day now, and I need to baby-proof the place. Look at this, the only game our kid can play here is Daddy Brings You to the Doctor. I hear you. Now what can Uncle Sid do for you? Well, let's see. You can pad those sharp, eye-poking-out rocks with leaves. You can put mud on those sharp rocks over there. Oh yeah, and you could melt the sharp icicles in the cave. Oh, now those are a hazard. Yeah, but not everybody thinks so. They may try and stop you. Stop me? The child safeinator? Bring him on. Sid, cover the sharp rocks with mud. The ones on the ledges. Ah, oh, the kids will love this playground. to throw these leaves over the rock.
Oh, now it's like a big bed for sleepy heads. That looks nice and coated to me. the rocks are coated. Now it's time to baby proof the rest of the playground.
All the rocks have leaves on them. What should I do next? Time to go melt those icicles. It's kind of chilly in here. Bad icicle meet hot, hot fire. No more hog is gonna stop me from melting these icicles. Sid, you actually did it! Now all that's left is for me to uproot those tree stumps. Ah, the playground looks safer already! Whoa, 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 what was that? Too bad we didn't call and frank-proof the playground. But hey, I couldn't move those large rocks earlier. But maybe they can. I got an idea. Uh, does this idea include me? If you can get on one of their backs, you can guide them into the rocks. This is what happens when I wake up before noon. Let's see if rhinos eat mud balls. Hey, thanks for your help, my rhino friend. I'm never, ever doing this again! Oh, 
Does that hurt? I know these mud balls. <laughs> oh, did that hurt? Come 
I'm never ever doing this again. No friend. baby loves it. Well then the baby will really love this. An ice mobile. The baby thinks you're the best dad ever. Whoa! And where did you get all the energy to baby proof Hello. this place? <laughs> hey, is Sid okay? Oh, he's probably just shocked that we're nowhere to be found on your special family ice mobile. Sometimes, little peaches, even your uncles are wrong about stuff. And by your uncles, I mean Diego. Oh, not this again. He thought that since he wasn't asked to participate in the goings-on with the gift for you, that he wasn't part of our family anymore. He could have asked, of course. Every time. But no! <sighs> so your Uncle Diego went off. Off into the wilderness. Oh, he was sure that all this family life had dulled his hunter's touch. So he came up with the perfect test.
what's the matter? Need a break or something? I was just warming up. Ooh, well, when you're warmed up, let me know. So I can blow your stripes off. All right, little one. Enough of my story. Let me tell you about your Uncle Sid. What? You've got nothing. I'm clean above reproach. La 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 la. He thought that since everyone was busy waiting for you to be born, that nobody wanted to be his friend anymore. Oh. So he thought that he would go off and find some new friends. Wherever he might find them. Okay, nothing to freak out about. I'm good at making friends. Oh, there's my future herd. Hello, hey, hello, fey, uri, fey, and fey. Hmm, I guess they don't know sloth Latin. Whoa! Yo! Okay, I'm not that desperate for friends. Right up and start your trading. Keep looking, there's gotta be something you can't live without. Now that is the meaning of upgrade. Keep looking, there's gotta be something you can't live without. You're on a quest, right? That'll help you. Okay, now. Well, it's better to be alone in a cave than alone in a cave with spiders. <laughs> okay, it could be worse. I mean, you could be allergic to caves. <laughs> Welcome back to the hottest trade shack in town.
Better to be alone in a cave than alone in a cave with spiders. Okay, could be worse. I mean, you could be allergic to caves. <laughs> a good place for a fire. <laughs> ah, nice and toasty. been fired.
token eye.
Okay, okay, not gonna look down. Balancing, not falling, not crashing, not burning. the wind. Welcome to the Trade Shack, Jack.
Welcome back, Sir Trade a Lot. Step right over here. Can I interest you in something else? I got a burning desire to roast marshmallows.
Oh, hey! Who left you guys here all alone? Don't worry. I'll make sure you're safe. The thing about being a mama, Peaches, you have to learn to follow your mama instinct. Oh, and I suppose you're gonna say that you have this mama instinct? Well, something led me to those poor, defenseless little eggs left all alone to fend for themselves. Waiting for their real mama. Oh, shush. See, I knew I could be a good mama too, just like your mama. All I had to do was get them home, somehow. Eggnapper. Where, where are you, where, hey, where are you going? <laughs> We're flying! Or are we falling? Take a nap, no arguing. I'll be back shortly. Now shut, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. Oh, don't you worry, your pretty little shell mama's here. And over we go! 
Nerf to the job. Okay, now look after your brother, or, or sister, or uh, each other. <laughs> Bird. 
bird! Egbert, Shelly, and Yoko, one happy family. Oh, I'd say give each other a hug, but maybe that'll be easier after you hatch. Well, little peaches, when I brought those little bundles of egg joy home, your parents were so happy. Yeah, once you brought the eggs back to where they belonged. Oh, what was a mother to do? So I tried to take them back, but got caught in a furious rainstorm and watched over them all night. But that night, something wonderful happened. The eggs hatched and my little babies were born. Well, being the young and inexperienced mama that I was... Still are. Well, I thought that fresh air and playtime was exactly what my new little darlings needed. Who could have guessed that they would have played so rough? Look what they're doing to your playground! I'm looking! I'm looking! I'm looking away! <laughs> oh, you are in big trouble, mister! It looks like Sid can't control his dinosaurs. Sid can't even control his head lice. My ice mobile! You destroyed it!
you act about so fast. Or be so scared! Super slow, faster than a speeding rhino. Well, Peaches, to say that your Uncle Sid put his foot in it would be an understatement. But when the Big Mama Dinosaur came back for her babies, she took them, and Sid, back with her. When his real friends showed up and saw what had happened, they decided to follow Sid, and get him back before it was too late.
Mommy and Daddy followed the footprints of the giant, angry Dino Mama deep underground, into places we had never been before. We had wandered into a strange land, full of strange dangers, old new adventures, and new friends. No, not them. I mean him. Buck! Without me, you're tough. You say I can use my wit to forage. Hey, now that's a thought. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Good choice. Fast Tony likes what you did there. Now that is the meaning of upgrade. Good choice. Fast Tony likes what you did there. You're on a quest, right? That'll have only the best for Fast Tony's customers. Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Only the best for Fast Tony's customers. Looks like I'll have to force my way past.
is my only route down. Thanks for the lift. Looks like the dino is my only route down. Thanks for the lift! This looks like an ambush! use this plant as a weapon, not even me. Those are gone. Welcome to the Trade Shack, Jack.
the best around! Short for Buckminster. You're new to this whole survival thing, aren't you? We're, we're looking for our friend. He was taken by a dinosaur. There's always a friend and always a dinosaur. We're not making this up. Those tracks should lead you to your friend. Oh, his furry carcass. Well, while your family wandered all across the strange land under the ice... Looking for you? They knew they had to get your mama something to eat soon. Being a mama is hungry work. So is being a mammoth. Hot, too. Anyways, little peaches. Your daddy and Uncle Diego went off to find some food for your mama. Unfortunately, something else found them first. And there was only one thing to do. Bark! What? If I listened every time you had bad feelings... Oh, help! You want me to help them? Oh, I see. You're on holiday. Well, okay then.
Hey there, welcome to the train shack, Jack. You're on a quest, right? That'll help you. Only the best for Fast Tony's customers? Step right over here. Can I interest you in something else? Keep looking. There's got to be something you can't live without.
know you're unpopular when even the plants start attacking you. Looks like the tree is my only route up. I'll never get in that tree. I see there's a plant nearby that'll help me. I didn't even break a sweat. I have the tools, I have the talent.
Welcome back, said trade a lot. Step right over here. Can I interest you in something else? Now that is the meaning of upgrade. It's a long way down from here. If only I'd pack my insect repellent! If only I'd pack my insect repellent!
Nearly took me whiskers off. <laughs> that nearly took me whiskers off. could lead to a sticky situation. How do you like them sap pools?
San Diego. What kind of plant eats meat? Maybe it's revenge. Is Manny the cat or the big hairy thing? Oh, oh heck, I'll save them both. Uh. Your Uncle Buck arrived just in time to save your daddy and Uncle Diego from the giant carnivorous plant. But he attacked fast and that meant doing things his way. Please, can we just skip this part? It's so embarrassing. Manny, we're coming! Help! We're in here! Don't worry, I'll have them out before they're wholly digested! Buck to the rescue! Digested! Rule number 23, do not feed yourself to a carnivorous plant! Help! We're in here! Someone help us! Time to whack this oversized weed! They don't look friendly. Why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? Come <laughs> on. 
Will you just shoot the big plant already? Hurry! Shoot the potato! I'm gonna make a salad out of you! Just shoot the big plant already! Hurry! Shoot the pedal! I'm gonna make a salad out of you! Just shoot the big plant already! Hurry! Shoot the pedo! I'm gonna make a salad out of you! One fuck. I like those odds. The 
unless you want to end up in here with us. Five boys against one buck. I like those odds. Plant a serious case of indigestion. That acid looks dangerous. I need some protection from the plant's digestive acid. You two better thank Buck for his help. Thank you, Buck. We did almost have him by the roots. Sure you did. And this eye patch is just for show. Now ask Mr. Buck if he'll help us find Sid. Oh, no, no, I'm sure he has better things to do. It's okay. Well, I was on my way to an arm wrestling match with a giant tarantula. He wanted another go at me. See, he's a busy guy. Would you help us find Sid? Well, you seem decent for ground dwellers. Okay, fine, but I'm in charge. And your Uncle Buck saved your daddy and Uncle Diego. But your mama had some choice words for them about wandering too far from the path. Buck had an idea, but they would need to get a little higher to get a buck's eye view of the jungle ahead of him.
It was obvious that in order to find your Uncle Sid, I, I, mean, I mean me, your parents were going to need some help. Someone cool under pressure. Someone who knew their way around. Someone with a will of iron. Someone absolutely crazy. So it was settled. Buck would help them. But first, he had a few short rules that everyone needed to follow. All right, listen up. From now on, my habitat, my rules. Rule number one, always listen to Buck. This Buck. Rule number two, stay on the trail. Buck don't like wanderers. And rule number three, expect the unexpected. <laughs> Buck, are you okay? Paul woke me up. You go to the chasm of death and I'll catch up. Chasm of death? Sounds like a one-way trip. Ah, so you've got tickets already. Ha-ha! <laughs> Wonderful!
Hey there! Welcome to the Trade Shack, Jack! Step right over here! Good choice! Fast Tony likes what you did there. Only the best for Fast Tony's customers? Smell gas, and not the funny kind. Yeah! 
too easy. Ah, looks like I've found a weapon of mass destruction. Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Too quiet. Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Step right over here. Can I interest you in something else? So maybe they'll think twice before ambushing a weasel. Yeah! <laughs> 
not a very convenient place to stand, my good Dino friend. Dinosaurs, nil. I'll be back with a gang in no time.
Hey there! Welcome to the Trade Shack, Jack! Welcome back, Sir Trade-A-Lot! Keep looking! There's gotta be something you can't live without! the gang in no time. with a weasel. I think I'm going to enjoy this!
look who decided to show up. Well, let me tell you about your Uncle Buck, little peaches. Oh, he could tell a yarn like nobody's business. He had a story about everything, about how he got to the world under the ice, how he got his eye patch, and even about the great white dino Rudy. Well, meanwhile, I was in a pickle of my own, trying to get my babies to sleep far off in the jungle. Their mama needed her beauty rest, and oh, she'd be cranky and hungry if she didn't get it. Mommy's friend here will keep him quiet. Prepare them to the age of silence! Oh yeah, I'm Sid, the sapping slob. Never wake a sleeping baby, especially a dinosaur! If I sat these dinos, they'll soon keep quiet. Oh yeah, I'm Sid, the sapping sloth. Now, can you guys come back another time? the age of silence!
Yeah, can you guys come back another time? Hey, I'm Sid, the sapping sloth. And away with you. Try that again, pal. Let's go to bed, sweetheart. Baby. Oh, I'm so proud of you. From leaf to roots. Ah, okay, I'll be over here if you need me. The dawn brought a new day full of possibilities. Full of dangers in an unfamiliar land. Yeah, but it also brought the joy and wonder of life. New friends. Yes, but it also brought with it unwelcome foes. Yes, but that led us back to welcome family. But at that moment, we were in some real trouble. Yes, but together we could do anything. Uh, Sid, don't you mean separately? Yes, that's what I said, separately together. Control! Do something! Okay, okay! I didn't mean it! You're a sweet, fine, young pterodactyl! That's a girl! Birds like a sweet talk. Incoming! Buggies! Plum plum! Your fingers and toes. Those plants shoot fast. Isn't anything here friendly? Mind your head. Is it hot in here, or is that just burning lava? The sky is falling. Anything here friendly? Mind your head! Is it hot in here, or is that just burning lava? The sky is falling! Fiery death ahead! 
change, more lava! Open the puppy. Possums rule! That's great, mates. Don't get cocky. So there we were, Peaches. Your daddy and I, fighting off dangerous dinosaurs. We decided that since your dad wasn't in as good a shape as I was, or any other mammal on the planet for that matter, that I should go save your mama from certain doom. Excuse me, what are you two doing? Ugh. Telling Peaches a bedtime story. Oh, all right. Well, just as long as it's not too scary. Back soon. And remember, nothing too scary. I told you this part might be too scary. You did not. Anyways, let me tell you the other side of the story, where brave Uncle Buck was riding a giant flying pterodactyl through the caves to come rescue me. Where are we going? This is a shortcut. Is it a shortcut filled with horrible danger? Let's hope so. Bogey's on our six. Aim for the stinger. These hornets just won't quit! Those guards are dangerous! Do a barrel roll!
did it! You did it! It's done! We're free and freedom feels good! Nice boys! Ah, uh, we're not out of the woods yet!
Your daddy saved your mommy, little peaches. Uh, um... Well, with the help of your Uncle Diego. So not only was he needed by his family, but he had also never lost his hunter's edge. Thank you. Meanwhile, things were looking up for your Uncle Buck. Or rather, pulling up. He, which is exactly what he did at the last second before hitting the lava. He and your uncles, Crash and Eddie, we're okay. Yes, which is more than you could say for Sid, who at this time was still running from Rudy. heading home. This is how abandonment issues start. Well, I'm pleased to say, little one, that, crazy or not, that little weasel saved your Uncle Sid. And we were even more pleased when you were born right after. Aww. Aww. All that was left now was for Buck to show us the way out. But the world below us was a dangerous place. And no matter who or what you were, you had to fight to survive. We knew it wasn't over yet. Oh, <laughs> 
We were well on our way to getting out of the world under the ice. That is, until we reached the end of the road. But first, we had to find a way to get across to the skeleton bridge. All right, now who's being too scary for the baby? What? I just said skeleton. Why don't you just tell her what happened next, hmm? Right, right. Well, it was your Uncle Buck, that's what. He sprung into action. Spr spring. Spr spring it, 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 spring. Oh, you know what I mean. Right, mammals. Wait here and protect the little one. I'll be back before you can say cataclysmic doom. Oh, uh, one last thing. This could be your last breath, so make a cat. Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Now that is the meaning of upgrade. Only the best for Fast Tony's cut. Keep looking, there's gotta be something you Only the best for Fast Tony's customers? Good choice! Fast Tony likes what you did there. Keep looking, there's gotta be something you can't live without. have my wits about me, I'll stay out of the tar. That'll be no problem for a weasel of my talents. This doesn't appear to be the most stable environment for a weasel.
clever girl. You might try putting up a fight, my good Dono friends. Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Keep looking, there's gotta be something you can't live without.
Mammals are the superior species.
Welcome to the Trade Shack. Whatever you want, Fast Tony can hook you up. Ah, the tranquility of Bubbling Tar. You're amazed I've made it this far if I'm still asking you for help. It's time to slide! It's time to slide! way 
get down from here. Almost blew me over the edge. This doesn't look stable. <laughs> this doesn't look stable. This doesn't look stable.
I've got that sinking feeling. 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 <laughs> hey, listen to me. I squeeze. Oi! What's with the laughing, you chipmunks? They breathed in the gas. So besides acting like idiots, are they going to be okay? Don't know the long-term effects of squeaky vocal cords. <laughs> the only long-term effect will be my loss of hearing. <laughs> okay, mammals, show's over. Time to get you home. Well, your Uncle Buck made it all right, little peaches. And once he arrived, he figured out a way for the rest of us to get across. Oh, this isn't going to be too scary again, is it? No, it'll be fine. Keep going. You sure? Yes. Really? Yes. Go. All righty. Anyways, once Uncle Buck made it, he figured out a way for the rest of us to get across to the bridge. And it was only just a little scary. Oh, brother. Guys, get moving. I'll take care of Rudy. We've got a score to settle with that lizard. No, Buck, no!
not right? That's one down.
start collapsing! Run!
What's life without Rudy? Uh, longer. Hey, why don't you come back with us, Uncle Buck? Has a nice ring to it. I like it. Maybe it won't be so bad. <gasps> That's Rudy. He's alive and roaring. I, I, I gotta. Who says a dinosaur can't be your destiny? Mama had saved us from Rudy. And because of her and your Uncle Buck, we all finally made it back to the world above. The end. Oh, you know, Diego, I miss her. Sid, you're not serious. What? She almost chomped you. Yeah, out of love. Oh, stop it. You just don't understand. You know, us mamas have to stick together. Sid, seriously, you're no mama. Talk to the toes. Nighty-night, little peaches. Yeah, sleep tight. <laughs>